He ran over there. right now, politicking, putting a lot of pieces together, so make sure y'all tune in. This joint gonna be exclusive, man. Epic! Dave Dash, shout out to Dave Dash, shout out to Kanye West, executive producer, you know what I mean? Shout out to Cameron, shout out to Murder Move, shout out to The Locks, shout out to Stacy Dash, played okay. my girlfriend in the movie, you know what I mean? Like, we got a mean host, the cast is impeccable. So we really want y'all to follow us, watch the making of Honor Up 2 and how the brothers come together. You know, we celebrate, we have a good time and just enjoy life, you know what I mean? And just so you know, we got the crazy party scene, that's why I'm here. Yeah. I'm the hype man, the party man, yeah. we turn it up. Nah, but you know? what I'm saying, I really want to talk about what we're doing with this movie thing, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah. And that we're going to have some new characters in the movie, you know what I mean? We, we might have Unique in the movie playing himself. Or we might have his son playing him. Oh, so, you know, it's things like that we're trying to put together. So, stick around. Y'all can see all the little intricate plots, how we put it together. And the real thing about it is because it's based on true stories. Mm. Now, Lou Sims just came home. Mm. Then 30 years, Big 33 out, years. Unique, y'all already know. Mm. He just came home. Mm. He did a lot of years. 30, to, what you did? 26. 26 years. Mm. And... We not glorifying prison and going that. to jail. You know? What we trying to do is make sure our sons don't go through what we went through. So we are giving the experience that we had so they can learn from it. So, you know, just follow us. We, we on a different level right now. The youth really need this type of education as well. If y'all notice, the youth is different now. You know what I mean? Availability to get a gun is too easy. You know what I mean? And then the availability to get knowledge about how to avoid that is not even available. So we trying to really come back, bring Harlem back, bring unity back, you know what I mean? Bring the old G's back, reach the youth, talk to the families. There's a lot of people out here, man, you know what I mean? And they lost loved ones. We're still trying to help them get over that. It's a lot of a lot of shit going on with this movie making shit that we're doing. Know, I lost this my brother, movement that my we're other doing. half, my twin. So you already know the struggle is real. Mm -hmm. All so the way real. Make sure y'all follow me. I'm OG Daniel. Daniel Danico on Instagram. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. This is unique audio mecca. Mm -hmm. And this is his son. You know what I mean? Introduce yourself. Tell him about your gram and all that. Nah, I ain't got social no gram. I know this social media. Ain't on social media. Everybody yeah. know me. This is what it is. He ain't on it yet. <laughs> But once we put him in the movie, he gonna need one. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we gonna create an Instagram name for him. Yeah, man. All right? All right. But stay tuned, we gonna be doing a lot. It's gonna be Wiz the God. So I'm letting it be known, that's Wiz the God. Wiz the God. You know what I mean? I like that, a lot of wisdom coming from dad. Know. Coming from dad. All right. Yo, so when y'all check in, we're gonna go check in, come right come back. back, and so we, we bring in the real cameras, and we gonna start moving. Cause everybody going. should be landing. You know, we got a lot of brothers coming down. You know, we called this trip right here. We called it Harlem Comes to Miami. So everybody came down from Harlem. My man Jerry Wu. I got Dap Wolf. You know what I mean? We got uh got uh Blackface. You know Blackface. We got the Von Zip family. Oh yeah, don't we got Eric Von Zip, his son, and we got Elise, his sister. You know, so we got a lot of legends from Harlem. We got a lot of legendary families from Harlem. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's official, you know, that's uh -huh. what makes the movie authentic. 
because all we bring in is authenticity. You know what I mean? That's what we're trying to keep it. We're trying to keep it real, really real. Not a lot of fiction. So people can learn from our mistakes. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna say this. When I got when I got locked up in 1993, how old was you? Me at that time. Seven, eight. See what I mean? How old was you when I came out in 2020s? 36. All those years was taken from me from my bad choices. And, 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 and here's our big brother right here. You know what I mean? And that's the legendary. That's, that's, that's the legendary. It's taking so long to get my drink, man. Yeah. That's this the dude legendary here. Lil Sims. You already know. You know, you know. I came to party. They know when I'm here, we party, man. Talk to them, Lil you know what Tell them what, you know. what we doing. Tell them what we doing. Shutting it down. We yeah. shutting it down. Bring the whole holler back. The old holler. You know what I mean? The original stand up Harlem. The men. The 88. You know what I mean? Alright, so you know it is what it is, man. We got big food out here, we got OG, we got we got Winston God, we got DP 201, let's not forget him because he's behind the camera. Yo, Lou, we gonna be because he is the camera. You know what I mean? Pop. So you know we gonna do what we do, man. Alright? So you know, uh oh, oh well, his wife is here, so you know he stepped up for a minute. But we in the house. Man, we're gonna get the real cameras, we're gonna do this proper. But we're gonna throw this up just to let us know what we're doing and where it's at. Everybody gonna be out later, we got the machines, we got the rave, we got everything out here. You know what I mean? We down here with the certified plug, CP, my cousin, he was up in Club 2000 when it first began, and we do what we do. But that's all you're getting for now. But tune in for later on, because we down here in Miami, man. It's just a little preview. Let me see the pool so they know where I'm at. From a prison cell to a big-ass pool on South Beach. I ain't gonna tell you where I'm at, because we got haters. All right, go ahead, man. Go ahead. You know what I mean? So Yo, what it is. and like I said, see this dude right here, man? Let me just let me just tell y'all something. See me, him, and Dan, we come from 142nd Street. You know what I mean? That's up in Harlem, right? Now, a lot of people don't know this, but it's just so real. He had the death penalty. Hmm. Thought he was gonna get twice the chair. He had it. That's what his sentence was. Got real brothers that was so official that love him, like Dan went paid for a lawyer. Wind up the brothers, brother getting, Jew, getting his time on, you know what I mean? When he was home, now he's home. Mm -hmm. See, this is shit people don't understand. It's a different type of unity. You know let, let, let me give the synopsis so you know who he is. First of all, he ran the prison. You know what I mean? I didn't run into him in the prison. Every prison I went in, somebody came from a prison that he was at, and they let it be known about how he held it down, and that's the big homie for Harlem. Let's get that straight. Yeah, that's a you know what See, that's, Let's that's get a that whole straight. Topic. So you See, understand, yeah. that's the big homie from Harlem. He ran the prison. Wherever I was at, somebody came and said, I was with your big homie. You know what I mean? Yeah. Tell about how you wrote me the letters to take care of shirt and shit. You know what I mean? And Tell when, when, and you when, had, and, when you had problems, you used to write Lou like, yo, I'm having a problem. Blah, blah, blah. It's a, listen, the way it work is, we got kites. Something happens somewhere, they land where he at. I, I, I sent him a kite. I said, Lou, issue with Blase, 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 Blase was gone. That's the way it's handled. Oh, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, that phone, man. And he ain't even had to lift a finger. His bird is that strong. When this dude standing in line to move out for him. Let's get that straight. You know what I mean? And he handles his own business because he doesn't, I don't know. We ain't going to talk about that. You know, all, all the savage he done did in the police. He done all right, all right. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm open now. We ain't going to talk about Atlanta where he went and shut down Atlanta knocking out the police because they, they, they trying to. Yeah. Come on, son. Yeah, you already know. What? I, I, I tell police. But let me give it. I want to tell him who, who Lou is. Right? He had the death penalty in Alabama. You understand? And he had. Uh, I'm just throwing a number out there, about 30 murders in, in New York, you know, the Europeans around, you know what I mean? So now he go down to Alabama, get the death penalty, so they bring him back to New York, and they thought they'd get over figure they hit they people in Alabama going to execute him. So they gave him a sweet-ass cop out for 30 years running together with him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now like the get, death penalty was going to end it all. You know what I mean? And then he beat the death penalty. Because that's how God's do. That's, that's how we want y'all to tune in. Because you know what I mean? We're going to give y'all inside points of view from a real brother that was on death row. Death row. You know and, and, what I mean? And, and, you know what that shit is and like, 30 years in the face. So you got to respect this type of honor, man. That's why we got love and respect. Not just love. It's respect that comes with it. You might have love for brothers, but respect don't come with everybody because everybody don't earn respect. There you go. We got a lot of respect for the brother, not just being a soldier, not because he was knocking out COs and all that, because he a good and, and, brother though. And, and, and I'm, and I'm y'all might not know this is my bro. He's a good dude. They won. 
day eight, Pretty much. <laughs> homie, me and this dude, besides all that, he's Nigga such a good dude. Theater, no? <laughs> when I was locked up, I did like a year, right? He was the only brother sent me some sneakers and all that back. Like just little shit like that you can't forget. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and then you hear all the stories about him knocking out CEOs and bang, bang, bang and all. But that shit is irrelevant. And we ain't gonna talk about who this bill. Love is so <laughs> talk real, about man. Bill. You know what I mean? Word, man. No, Come on, word. man. But, but talk but, about Oldersville, man. Oh, now, man. I wanna hear some of this Oldersville. You wanna hear some of this shit? Let's talk about Oldersville. Ah, yo, I'm gonna check about Oldersville. In Oldersville, you know what I mean? They tried to move on them. You know, not our people. Let's get that right. Let's you know what I mean? What we call, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna call them that name. But some people tried to move on them and figure being that it was five or six of them that they can get out of it. Oh, yeah? Five or six of them moved on them in order to get out of it. Crushed them. He crushed all of them. He crushed all of them. And, and, and anybody in the, in, in, the, in the prison, they already know. He crushed five of them, so see what I'm his saying? legacy now, you, is already there. You, know you understand what I'm saying? You're Just so legends, you understand. And, 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 and let me say this. They call me, since you've been gone and I just came home, they call me the cockiest kingpin. You understand? So, you know, I'm considered the big homie. Uh, but I'm man. telling you, but I'm telling here, you, Jerry, that's my big homie. Come here, look. You know what I mean? Come Just so you know. Yeah. I give props where it's due. And, and I talk that shit. Remember I told you we got all the homies coming down from New York? You know? This is Jerry Wolf. That's all you got. Another good brother. Real Jerry Wolf. Harlem. We grew up the real Jerry Wolf. All right. You know what I mean? He did a lot of time, too. He caught a body when we was young. You know, you get My caught up. Man, you get caught up in that life. But we trying to help avoid a lot of y'all young brothers going through all that. Exactly. Because if you ask any one of these brothers right now, if they had a chance, how would they do it? They'd say they'd do it totally differently. I told you what I did. I let them mean? tell you they sell. None of that we was did a lot of shit when we was young and it cost them time None out of, of their life. Like I said, come here. He was seven worth when it, I went bro. in. He was seven when I went in and tell him how old you was when I come out again for those that might have missed it. 36. 36. I missed 26, 27 years of my son's life for my choice. And at the time, I felt it was worth it. You know what I mean? When his time went on, I realized it wasn't worth it. Man. Look what I come home to. I come home to a man that missed his youth. No football. You know what I mean? No basketball. All the things he loved. I'm just learning what he loved. I'm just learning who he is. And I'm, and I'm glad that he's allowed me to learn, man. You know what I mean? I'm glad he allowed me to learn. We're going to tune out because we're going to do this later on with the real cameras, man. You know what I mean? All right, we out. DP 201, you the man. Don't forget the man behind the camera. I'm always shouting about him. But that's how we do. All right. Yeah, so right, you know, we came down here with our wives, spent time with our wives, and at the same time prepared for this new movie. Like I said, what's the name of the movie? Uh, Honor Up. You Honor know what Up mean? 2 is coming Honor soon. We're going to have Jerry Wu. It's going to be a lot of new faces, man. You know, I think we're going to put Dave Beast in the joint. Jerry, Jerry Wu going to be at the Salt going all the way back to IS-10 days. Uh, <laughs> and he got jokes, like, I ain't going to hold you. He's one of the funniest brothers. He's a new sales he all that man. Yeah, but, yo, he be having us we cracking up. We have a good time, you know what I'm saying? Come on, this is how we do. We're in Miami, man. We want you to, we want you to pay attention. You know where we got all this shit, man. Hit the ball on the pool. We want you to get caught up like your father did. You know what I mean? We want you to learn from these mistakes. We're going to take over this movie, man. You know what I mean? We're going to bring you along and the rest of the family and just, you know, change the game, man. Because right now, they looking for, you know what I mean, this type of, you know, uh, this type of, uh, uh, energy, uh, motivation, yeah, like, uh, uh, inspiration, uh, mentoring. You know, what I was trying to find the word was this type of content. Because this type of content is original. It's coming straight from the brothers that lived it. So it's not no made up shit where you writing, you writing up shit, making oh this sounds good. Nah, we giving it to y'all real, right real life head. experiences. You know what I mean? Right off the head. So stay tuned, man. All right. You know we love y'all, man. This sneak peek, this going up tonight, just to let y'all know we here. To stay tuned for the bomb. We're going to talk about Texas in the prison. Yeah. Hit that. You ready? Yeah. I'm rolling. All right. This is a big homie, man. Tell them who you are. Tell them the time of the day. And we already know it's not been glorified, nothing. But this is the middle of the prison. We're going to struggle. And we don't want them to go through. Yeah. That's you know what I mean? Well, Brown out of Texas. Did seven years at Cofield in Texas. Mm. Tell them what's Cofield like. Cofield. That's maximum security. You know what I mean? Hey, I did my time. Got out. Ain't looked back since. That's federal state. No state. No state. Yeah. yeah. No, they do hard time in the state. And this is what I'm talking about. See how brothers like us, see how stories to tell. 
You know what I mean? So we want y'all to pay attention and maybe learn from our mistakes, man. Because if you ask this brother if he had a chance to do it again, what you'll tell him? I'll do it again because it made me who I am yesterday, you know? I've been home, I've been home eight years now, came home with only three bags of clothes. If you see the shit that I got now, you wouldn't even believe it. I own my own bar and grill. I'm a CPA, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I was paid for. Oh, all then, the cars I want, then, all the toys I want, I got it. But let's clarify something. When you said you do it again, you mean the right way. The right way, yeah. 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 So they understand do, that we do, ain't do it the right way. way. No game show yeah, the right way. Because that's what I said. Yeah. All my brothers that did all that time, they tell you. It was a waste of their life. Yeah, that's a waste. You know what I mean? All the shit they did when we was young, it was just like y'all. We had that same energy, but we didn't channel it the right way. Right. See, now, as OGs, like this brother said, he got his business and all that going. Look at him, he's doing good. He got it. He good. Look at him, he's making me look small. You know what I'm saying? You know, I look small. I'm, I'm, I'm nah. but, at the end of, but at the end of the day, you know what I mean? We want to be able to give y'all the knowledge early so y'all can get the shortcut. Y'all ain't got to go through what we went through. Like, if, right. if y'all listen, y'all can get around all that. Don't waste y'all life in the penitentiaries killing each other for nothing. You wake up in a jail cell saying, damn, why did I do that? Because that's all, all of them said that. One thing I can't tell you when you find out, once you go to jail, you're going to find out who got you back and who don't. I roll mine out by myself. By myself. And, and that's his man, Pretty Tony, right there. <laughs> Make sure you get him. Come on, sir. What y'all want to do is, man? Hey, Jerry's the Phillips, man, four words. I'm on own trucking company, own boss, man, I love it, man. All right. Hey, ain't never done a day, man. Ain't right. never, done, never done, a day. done a day in jail, and that's why I'm proud of you. Yeah. I did too much time in jail that I ain't proud of. I'm not proud of none of that. You know what I mean? So, you know, that's what it is. You know, we're here, man. Alright, hit the crew one more time. Yeah, I'm I'm <laughs> Fascinating. Yeah, we here chilling. What's up? Got the, got the you already know what I got to go with like before. Yo, but where's your swim trunks hey, trying to get nah, wet? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, you, you gotta get up and jump off that. <laughs> It is real. Take a little gully posse and put it in home. Uh, he cut from the bottom, back. came up from the bottom. Back. Drop the book, you should go and get it. The Instagram it. page and the YouTube, you could go and visit. Yeah. Then you could consider yourself linked in. Real. Sit front row and get jewels from a kingpin. Uh, How he went through it, so you ain't gotta go do it. Uh -huh. Did not pay attention would be stupid. Talking about a man that probably put your grandfather on. Your probably the reason that him and your grams got along. Your a man that generated millions on the block, did uh, his time, never squeezed. Until the cops make an audio. Hey. <laughs>
two G's in the ninth. Yeah. Drop top beamer so shine. Yeah. I let shorty go, she was wine. Yeah. Treat her like my past, she behind me. Yeah. Spin a couple bands on the dapper dead. Yeah. You be back again, getting green like a Packers fan. Yeah. No cap, yeah. it's a roaring uptown. Yeah. Baby horn uptown, Dominican bust downs. Word. Now we on the positive. Word. You we got a lot to give. Yes. Now you trying yes. to stop the kids from being an operative. Uh. So take uh. heed, homie Linda Ed. Uh. He started in uptown, he gon' finish dead. Uptown. But now uptown. it ain't about selling drugs, buying cars. It's nope. about buying property to make the community yard. So we can give back to the youth them. Uh. Cause they the truth them. Uh. And bless up to all the rudiments. Uh.